Wednesday, 7.31 a.m. 7.31 a.m. My micro penis has grown again. I'm going to keep making that joke. We're going to have to deal with it. Also, it looks like the paps are outside. We know what I think about the paps. Not a lot, really. Uh, just, I don't like them turning up and terrorising people. Like, it's just, especially if it's something like this. Uh, dude, that letter looks familiar. We had one. Ages ago. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. No, no, dude, we had that before. We had that at the old house, didn't we? Before, uh... Before our kid got killed. Also, a locker number. <sighs> Shit. We need to take this to the cops, dude. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. So, instead of going to the cops, you're probably going to do it on your own, aren't you? Uh, so that's the car. Right, let's go. Good. So we have to evade them, get in our car, drive the fuck off. So I've been playing this for about three hours now? I'm not entirely sure. I've lost track of time. It doesn't feel like it, whatever time I've spent here. Um, but I have had a capture card crash, which worries me a bit. Dude, can you just... What are you doing? Fuck. Dude. Come on. This way. This way. Here we go. Get in the car. Sorry, it's my own ineptitude then. Um, I don't think they've spotted me. Let's go! And drive. Amazing. The Paps don't even know I've gone. So, oh. Oh god, okay. So we're in... It's a train station, right? Fucking luggage lockers. These are always dodgy. Mate, this is not the time. Come on, you need to get it together. Gonna... Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't... can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Come on. I'll try and steer you into as, as little people as possible. But you need to actually walk. I can't make it. Too many people. Oh, Too many fuck. people. Come on! Come on! Oh, God. Come on, buddy. Come on. Jesus Christ, what the fuck's going on, mate? Are you having a panic attack? Are you... Oh, Jesus. Okay, are we now in Quantum Break? <laughs> How have you stopped time? Uh... Oh, uh, no. You are tripping balls. No. This is terrible. Dad, where are you? Oh, God. The... Jason! Jason! Oh, God. Everyone's falling down. This is very... This is very caged, though, isn't it? Dad! Where the fuck is he? Oops. Sorry! Jason! Dad! Dad! Okay, so he's in here. Jason. Jason! Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. Whoops. Dad. Dude, this is a terribly difficult viewpoint to be dealing with. Especially with... 
Jason! Let's just fucking knock them all down. Get out of the fucking way, everybody. I'm sorry. Sorry. S sorry. Jason! Jason! There he is. Come here, you little shit. I've been looking for you. Oh my god. This is the worst nightmare blackout thing ever. Jason! 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 Oh god. Uh, you're totally doing this in a public place, aren't you? And everyone's looking at you going, the fuck? Or, or just ignoring you, which is what we're all prone to be doing. We're having a very small breakdown, aren't we? We need to get it together. There is no Jason here. We need to get to the lockers. We need to see what's in there, and then we need to take it to the cops. So you need to get it together. Just now. Just for now. After that, it's okay. Uh, Line 18, box number 3. So it's this one here. Up. Oh god, what's going to be inside? Is it going to be a box? Cardboard box. Again. A shoe box. Where's he getting these shoe boxes from? Does he work in shoes? He shouldn't discount anything. Also, sizing, I think, is the same. Again, maybe I'm reading into it too much, but... You know, this is the kind of shit I assumed the police would look for if the parents had come forward with things like the shoeboxes, which we know he probably isn't going to, and the dude in the convenience store didn't, so assumedly everyone has a shoebox. This must be the motel with the pissing bug, where apparently I've been told not to piss. Uh, a, a friend messaged me on Steam and was like, do not piss! I was like, what do you mean? So if you piss in the motel, in fact it was totes, if you, any of you vanilla, vanilla yogs people will know totes. Um, he was like, don't piss in the motel, there's a, there's a bug where you get stuck pissing permanently. So um, I have listened to him. Thank you totes for your wonderful um, contribution. Uh, there's no one out there. Done good. Done good at losing the paps. Uh, let's go look at the box. If you want to come to my hotel. We love our customers. Ugh. Go on then. Sit down. Open the box. What's in the box? Come on. What's in the box? Is it a lizard or is it a different kind of origami? What is it? Come on, dude. What? So we've got the lizard. He's left a gun. What kind of sick fuck leaves pe people with a gun? Does this allow us to work something out ourselves? As a bear? Is he going to unfold it? Yes, he is. Oh, are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot. Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. So no one in the... No one has... Oh, just... I'm slightly... Just slightly surprised. No one has thought to unravel these before. We've got... What's this? Put in a camera. Oh, in the phone, sorry. It's a SIM card in the phone. Is he going to call us? Is this like fucking phone booth or whatever it's called? Shit, he's there. Help! Dad! Sean! Where are you? I'm so cold! Dad! Dad! Jesus Christ. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love all the fucking way, baby? A 
gonna take the gun and I'm gonna shoot you. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. Letters reveal an address. Oh, good. I do like games. Come on, buddy. Let's go play some games. Yeah, take the gun. Take them. I mean, heaven forbid you get the profiler involved. Uh, put it under the bed. Sounds like it's going to get pinched. Dear guest, thank you for your patronage. Okay. So we're going to go to a garage first. A garage, if you like. If I was Joanna Lumley, I think she says garage, darling. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Just gonna keep pressing it. Uh, you know what, mate? Just The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. <laughs> that may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Dude, which one of us is the fucking profiler, eh? Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate <laughs> a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this uh, zone? Reasonably big. For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Dude. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. Can we go to the orchid shop yet? One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. Oh shit, that's what the inches is. All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. How would you propose we do that, mate, when we can't actually target them? The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Exactly. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? You are a bit of a dick, mate. I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! He's a bit of a dick, isn't he? I'm trying to rein it in here. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Well, that's comforting, isn't it? Can I fuck up? That's a big question. Can I can I get Sean killed? Cause that's bad. Dude, I so did not fail that. Fuck you. You are a nasty piece of work. By which I mean impatient little fuck. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. 
Holy fuck, dude. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Isn't. Call the cops. <laughs> well, okay. Let's see what we got in here then. Okay, I would... Okay, church. The, the riddle with the church. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Pretty religious guy? He's a God-fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. I wouldn't say real twisted. What I would say is... Oh, God, they've left candles burning again. Fuck's sake. What I would say is he is seriously mentally disturbed. As the pill cabinet uh, sort of, I think, confirmed. There were multivitamins there, but it looked like prescription drugs. And he's writing shit on the walls in Greek. I think that's Greek. I, I would be very concerned. Great Greek Latin. Okay, yeah. Transcribing the Bible, perhaps. More fucking drugs. Like, this guy needs serious... Well, it looks like he's being, having serious psychological help, but I don't think it's doing much. I guess that psychologist never... Psychiatrist never visited his home because he would have discovered some hardcore candle usage, amongst other things. Oh. Holy Bible. He really likes Jesus, the Old Testament, rosary beads, so Catholic. Well, obviously Catholic. Protestants don't really go for the old Christ on the cross, do they? Um, fucking, oh no. Guys? Guys? Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Mm. Uh, what's your occupation? Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Right. Okay, so that is a no. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Okay. Was there anybody with you? The Lord God? No. No, I was alone. Shit, okay. That doesn't help us. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Right, how do you go about doing that? What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Dude, just back off, all right? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. Dude. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. Dude, what? Oh, shit. No. I missed it. No! You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Dude. Stop! Stop! That's enough! I'm really torn. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, too far. No! Stop! Stop! Too fucking far, mate. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Hey! Boom. That's too far. It's too fucking far. You oh shit! I shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy us. For Christ's sake, 
Shoot! Fuck me. I don't... Psychology. You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for the that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Dude, I'm trying to help you here. Uh, psychology. Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Come on, buddy. Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Put the gun down. Reassure. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Come on, buddy. Please. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Don't shoot, please, 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 please. Uh, uh, order. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Come on, buddy. You need to back off. Back away, slowly. Come on, buddy, please. Come on. I, come on. There you go. Drop, just put the gun down. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Come on, Nathaniel. Just put it down. Come over here. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Uh, hey, hey, be gentle with him. God's sake. Motherfucker! Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord. I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak, the show's over. You're under arrest. Christ almighty, that could have gone horribly. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. Glad I didn't press it. Jeez, that would have been bad. It's not this guy. It's not this guy. What if you, no, it can't be. He's in custody anyway, so it doesn't matter. We're approaching two inches of rainfall. Oh, we're back with Shelby. My hands are so fucking sweaty from that scene. It's just constant, like, sweat. It's horrible. It's really gross, but at the same time, it's nice that this game is coaxing that as a bodily response. That makes sense. Is there anybody inside? There's a baby. There's a crying baby. I press the doorbell. Hello. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Shit. Um. Right. Okay. Let's try and find another way in. Uh, hopefully there's something round here. Not gonna fit through that one, mate. Unless you seriously lose some weight. <laughs> As in, you become completely insubstantial. Oh, the back door's open. Well, that's always concerning. Why isn't it locked? Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles? Anybody home? Dude, hang on, hang on. Let's check the baby first, because the baby is really sad. Hello, little cutie. Who? You looking for your mama? Where is she? Oh, God. What's this going to say? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <sighs> So, oh no, is she in the bathroom? Fuck. Where is she? Oh god, dude, you're looking the wrong freaking way for a start. Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Shit, she totally is. Dude, if 
Fucking get in there and stop her. It might be too late, but we can at least fucking try. Oh, shit. Oh, God, she's alive. Mrs. Balls. Is she alive? Mrs. Balls, can you hear me? Oh, God. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, get her out, get her out, get her out. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get her out. Dude, we need to get her to the hospital or something quickly. Um, can we put her in the bed? Yes. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Well, sh I'm not sure about that. Jesus Christ. Please don't do anything silly whilst I'm gone. In fact, let's check. Turn around again for me. Uh, oh, God. No, buddy, no. No, this is not the time to have small issues with walking. Um, is there anything? Oh. Quite what I wanted to do, but I suppose it does make sense. We have just, you know. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. Okay. Well, at least she hasn't run off, because that was my main concern: was she would try it again, whilst I was out of the room or something. Okay. All right. You're going to have to deal with it, love. Sorry. Come on. Come on. It's one down. Oh, God. Oh. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. But your baby right. needed you when you fucked you off to try there. and kill yourself. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Also, she has loads of scarring on her wrists. This is not the first time she's done it, dude. Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. Well, there's one thing you could fucking do. There are scissors next to her. Her name is Emily. Look. Gotcha. Look, there are at least two pairs of scissors next to the bed, dude. Seriously. What the fuck? Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Oh, great. So, let's go change her. Oh, great. A quick time event for some nappies. Okay. How do you do this again? Lovely. I just don't have to smell it. Sorry, little girl. Oh, that, that didn't work as intended. There we go. Well, that's a lot smoother than I've seen in some time for the old nappy change. Oh, God. Ugh. Seriously? I'm going to use two fingers now. There you go. Fresh now. new baby. With different hands. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Hmm? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. She's probably hungry too. How long has that been out? I guess I better warm this thing up. Oh yeah, using the magical bottle warmer thing. I guess we just wait. Oh no, we're done. Brilliant. 
Right, okay, good. I never thought I'd be finding myself changing diapers, sorry, nappies, because I'm British, not American, and feeding babies in a game about murders. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. Or get gas. Got it. There we go. You're having some issues, mate. Does it remind you of your kid? I'm sorry if so. Oh, burp it. Oh, God. I don't be sick on me. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm just getting the tapping right. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. Right. bye baby. I'm really shit at this. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God, really? Uh, oh, of all the times. Oh, Jesus Christ. rock -a on the treetop Where the wind blows The cradle will rock Oh, thank God Down goes the baby Into the pram And hopefully sleeps for like forever Or at least for a while So I can chat with uh, the wife Thanks for looking after my baby. That's okay. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Oh, you can just wander about. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. Oh. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Or he found a shoebox and he failed. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just the cell phone. The cell phone. A cell phone? The cell phone. Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure... It wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. You still got it? Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Mm. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. Good. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I'm very doubtful in light of the... It's, especially if you watch them when he sat on the bed, you could really see the scars from her attempts previously. So I'm a little doubtful. If she does turn around, great. Um, but I just, yeah, I, I, I worry that she doesn't. Just because it's a lot of pressure.
Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mom. Okay, we're going. I feel a bit bad, but... Hopefully she can work this out. Hopefully she does call her mum. I mean, I get, I get it. I get the, um, if the family connection isn't great, I get the unwillingness, but this is not the way to do it, dude. 